Good morning, children. Hope it's a very beautiful day to start our learning. Shandini Views welcomes you all for the online class. And let's start our session with word of the day. And word of the day is amuse. And what is the definition? The definition for amuse is to entertain. So whenever you find a very particular movie or a show very entertaining, you can use the word amuse. You can say that the movie was very amusing. You can tell the park as an amusement park, like an entertainment park. Instead of telling entertainment park, you can tell it was an amusement park. The show was very amusing. Right. So that is the word of the day. And let's begin our actual learning today. This is for class one. Subject English. Lesson three. Topic Anita's family. Hi children. My name is Anita. How are you? Hope you're all fine with a good health. Do you know something? I have four children. My children are studying in Shandini View School. Let me tell you about them. My first daughter's name is Smita and she is studying in first standard. My second daughter is Kavita. She is studying in UKG. My son is Data. He is studying in LKG. My daughter had a doubt in an English subject from a topic called verb. Do you know what a verb is? So verb is an action word about which we will be learning in this chapter very briefly. Now I'm going to tell you about the verbs. Are you ready to listen, children? Now I will tell you about verbs briefly. Before going to the class, I will tell you a story related to the verb. This story is based on my family. We can see now. This is my home. I hope this home is visible to you all and you can see a lot of activities happening there. You can see a girl drawing, you can see a man reading, you can see a woman walking, you can see a cat climbing, you can see a girl skipping, you can see a boy running. Right. He is my husband. His name is Mehta. What is the spelling for husband? H U S B A N D. Husband. H U S B A N D. Husband. He is sitting and reading a newspaper. He is sitting and reading a newspaper. You can see Anita's husband sitting and reading a newspaper here. Yes. And what is the spelling for sitting? S I T T I N G. Sitting. S I T T I N G. Sitting. And reading a newspaper. Reading. R E A D I N G. Reading. R E A D I N G. Reading. I am standing in my home. I am standing in my home. What is the spelling for standing? S T A N D I N G. Standing. S T A N D I N G. Standing. My first daughter, Smitha, is painting a picture. My first daughter, Smitha, is painting a picture. You can see here Anita's first daughter, Smitha, painting a picture, right? 
And what is the spelling for painting? P A I N T I N G. Painting. P A I N T I N G. Painting. My second daughter Kavita is skipping. My second daughter Kavita is skipping. What is the spelling for skipping? S K I P P I N G. Skipping. S K I P P I N G. Skipping. My second daughter Kavita is skipping. My naughty son Datta is running and hopping. You can see here Anita's son Datta is running and hopping. So, what is the spelling for running? R U N N I N G. Running. R U N N I N G. Running. Hopping. H O P P I N G. Hopping. H O P P I N G. Hopping. My little baby is crawling on the floor. She is playing with the ball. Here you can see the little baby of Anita crawling on the floor. Right. So, what is the spelling for crawling? C R A W L I N G. Crawling. C R A W L I N G. Crawling. And what is the spelling for playing? P L A Y I N G. Playing. P L A Y I N G. Playing. My little baby is crawling on the floor. She is playing with the ball. My pet cat is climbing up the window. My pet cat is climbing up the window. What is the spelling for climbing? C L I M B I N G. Climbing. C L I M B I N G. Climbing. The dog is barking at strangers. What is the spelling for barking? B A R K I N G. Barking. B A R K I N G. Barking. The parrot in the cage is eating an apple. Here you can see a parrot trying to get out of the cage, right? And it is trying to have an apple. So, what is the spelling for eating? E A T I N G. Eating. E A T I N G. Eating. Our old grandfather is watching the TV. Our old grandfather is watching the TV. Here you can see in the picture an old grandfather watching the TV, right? And what is the spelling for watching? W A T C H I N G. Watching. W A T C H I N G. Watching. Our grandmother is looking at the plants and watering them. Our grandmother is looking at the plants and watering them. What is the spelling for looking? L O O K I N G. Looking. Watering. W A T E R I N G. Watering. Our grandmother is looking at the plants and watering them. Oh. Now let's see about verbs briefly. So, what is a verb? When a naming word that is noun does something, it is called an action word. Verb. Okay. We have seen about noun that is the naming word in a previous chapter. Here, whatever is the noun doing, whatever the action of the noun, or whenever a noun is doing something, it is called as verb. Verb is called as an action word, whereas noun is called as the naming word. Data is running. So, when 
we have to find what a verb is in a sentence you should always the step one of finding the verb is finding the noun first you have to find the noun and you have to analyze what the noun is doing here what is the noun here here the noun is data and he is running what is he doing he is running right and what is the spelling for running r-u-n-n-i-n-g running r-u-n-n-i-n-g running data is running Meta is painting let's use the trick here number one find the noun yes the noun here is Mitta. number two what is the noun doing the noun here is painting right and what is the spelling for painting p-a-i-n-t-i-n-g painting p-a-i-n-t-i-n-g painting Smitta is painting the crow is flying. Step one, find the noun. Yes, that's correct. The crow. Crow here is the noun. And what is the noun here doing? Yes, it is flying. So the verb here is flying. And what is the spelling for flying? F L Y I N G. Flying. F L Y I N G. Flying. A girl is jumping. Find the noun. Yes, the noun here is the girl. And what is she doing? Here she is jumping. What is the spelling of her jumping? J U M P I N G. Jumping. J U M P I N G. Jumping. A girl is jumping. A bell is ringing. Step one, find the noun. Yes, the bell. What is the bell doing here? It is ringing. So the verb here is ringing. And what is the spelling for ringing? R-I-N-G-I-N-G. -I -I ringing. R-I-N-G-I-N-G. -I -I ringing. A baby is sprawling. What is the baby doing here? The baby here is crawling. C R A W L I N G. Crawling. C R A W L I N G. Crawling. A baby is crawling. A girl is crying. What is the noun here? The noun here is the girl. And what is she doing? She is crying. So, what is the spelling for crying? C R Y I N G. Crying. C R Y I N G crying. Man is sitting. The noun here is the man, and what is he doing? He is sitting. And what is the spelling for sitting? S I T T I N G sitting. S I T T I N G sitting. The woman here is standing. What is the noun here? The noun here is the woman and what is she doing? She's standing. So the verb here is standing and what is the spelling for standing? S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G, standing. S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G, standing. The man is watching TV. What is the noun here? Yes, the noun here is the man, and what is he doing? He is watching the TV. So, what is the verb here? The verb here is watching, and what is the spelling for watching? W A T C H I N G. Watching. W A T C H I N G. Watching. These are all the words. Hope you understood. Okay, children. Bye. Take care. See you in the next class. Until then, keep revising again and again. Thank you.